Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, I got so fucking close to finishing this world that I didn't want to end the episode, but I got to the point where I had to, so I was like, oh, fuck it, I will. And also, every single one of these tubes leads to something. These little tubes in the wall here. And uh, it's good to check them all if it's your first time playing. There's the last, almost last G. And then there's uh, Mumbo Token left to find, and a Jiggy left to find. And, uh. Right there. That is. That is. That is. That is. That is. Oprah Winfrey's butthole. I don't know. Although, judging by the color of this tube, it looks like it must lead to Oprah Winfrey's toilet or some shit. Orange poop, ladies and gentlemen. It's a laughing matter. There should be an easier way to exit the levels than going back to the exit pad. Or the entrance pad, or whatever you call it. The start point of the level. I think there should be, like, different exit points laid throughout the level, like, conveniently. Like, in, uh... Banjo-Tooie, there's actually a leave a level button in the pause menu. There's like a hundred buttons in the pause menu in that game. I actually love that game's pause menu more than I do this one's. This one's like, okay, um, get back to the game, stop playing, and look at all the shit you wasted your time on. Perfect. Whereas that game was like, okay, we gotta improve the look at all the shit you wasted your time on. Plus, you gotta have an options thing. I don't know why we didn't have that earlier. Not to mention, uh, maybe we should have wanted to leave a level, not turn off the game, and start it up over again. Not to mention, we should probably, like, save the items they grabbed throughout the game, and they, they probably want those. <laughs> yeah, it's another thing this game. That's why I, I always dread LPing this game, on the N64 version at least, is because you lose your items when you die in this version. Your musical notes and your Jinjos. And you have to recollect every single one of them. And when you're LPing, meaning you have to recollect the certain ones over again, it really gets to be a pain in the ass. When you're playing it on your own time, though, it's, it's fine. But I'm not playing it on my own time. I'm playing it fucking like Chuck Norris. You gotta play perfect. Like this game, this game is like surgery. You can't you can't mess up a single cut or it's it's over. We lost the patient. Take it. Eat my bananas. That was the weirdest thing to say to a crab. Ladies and gentlemen, next time you go to the beach, just walk up to a crab and be like, Take that! Eat my bananas! And like, beat the crab to death or some shit, I don't know. I don't know what you do with crabs, just beat them to shit. Like, beat the shit out of them. I'm like, that, that's like, like, crustacean abuse. Like, someone goes to the beach and they just abuse all the crustaceans. Because they're speciesist. Or kingdomist. Because crustaceans are part of the arthropods, and uh, humans are part of the mammals. And, uh, actually, though, some people are really stupid. Like, like I say, like the animal kingdom is like the animal kingdom, there's the plant kingdom, and all that. And there's like the human kingdom. What they don't understand is that the human is part of humans, part of the animal kingdom. And it's like, uh, yeah, we're part of the animal. Well, that was simple. Let's get out Okay, that was kind of ironic. Because... I don't know why that was ironic. I filled in the puzzle to that one level. And that level unlocked! What would it do? Oh my god, I actually have, like... Found, I've actually found, like, I remember as a little kid, I used to have, like, a, quite a few of those little, like, TV plug-in things. And, like, the really shitty ones, too. And I had a couple of those, and I couldn't find them, and I, like, just found all of them. And, I, like, I want to, like, play a few of them just as a joke. Because I have, like, some really shitty ones I need to play. Like, I had, I had some really good ones, though. I had some ones that was, like, that didn't have anything shitty on it. Like, I had one, like, all, like, all, like, I had, like, one with all the old Pac-Man games and shit on it. I had like this pretty half decent Star Wars one. But then there were also like the really shitty ones, like the educational games. And... I actually have one that was actually. 
I actually, like, it wasn't mine, it's actually my, like, my little, little sisters. And it's only a few, like, a year or two old, it was the Spongebob one. And I'll admit, that one was mostly puzzle games, and it was really, actually pretty good. For, like, a little TV plugin, it was actually pretty decent. But you gotta remember it's a TV plugin. It's like when you consider, like, those LCD games you get at McDonald's. You gotta consider the fact that it's an LCD game. You can't say it's, like, the worst game ever, because it's a shitty little LCD game. Because that's the most you can expect out of it. I just want to make a little little thing here real quick. I'm going to get myself hurt on purpose, just so you guys can see this. Pay attention to the little face in the, the word box below when I get hurt here. That's not what I'm talking about. That's just Gratilda. I'm going to let her talk real quick. The old Tarly stand. Okay, there we go. Watch this. This is Piranha Water. Keep your smelly feet out. Am I the only person in the world who noticed that's the same piranha from Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo? Am I really the only person on Earth who noticed that? Someone in the comments, please tell me you noticed that's the same piranha from Donkey Kong Country. Even watching this, it's like you never played this game before, you're just watching this. Did you at least notice that when I pointed it out? Dummy dropped just like that. I read really fast, it was awesome. Me wants yummy egg too. My name is Pablo. Ouch. That was hurt. That was hurt. Back here is the power. That was really fast. And that that is actually a reason it's so early on. These are all the wading boots or wading boots. Quick chicken layers where sometimes you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a few limited time. Okay, chicken or er, kazooie. Let's go grab a pair. Hmm, your energy is a little blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Now, I want to leave a level. I never am going to do this again. Because you never really have... That, like, it, you don't have to do it ever again. But that, that's, that, that's only one of the reasons I'm not going to ever leave a level like this again. Mainly, my whole point here behind leaving... Is you need the waiting boots to get to one room of Grunty's Lair. And there's a transformation in Bubble Gloop Swamp... That needs to get into this one room. Well, basically there's this giant block of ice in the way of the room. And I need to go in there and break that right now before I do this level. So when I start, when I come back, it'll be gone, and I can get the crocodile through there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be worried about spoiling what Bumbo transforms you into. It's usually pretty assumable. Only one of them's really spoilable, and that's in a later level. This is maybe a level spoiler right here, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's just do this real quick. Yes, yeah, so there's a Christmas-themed level in this game. Now, one problem I have with this level, let me just go on with that. This level, normally when you do something like this, Freeze Easy Peak, it's just a snow level. You know, there's just some snow, ice, maybe. And it's just a snow level. It's not a Christmas level, it's a snow level. No, not here. Freeze Easy Peak literally is recognized as a Christmas level. There's Christmas presents and snowmen and, like, I don't know if there's Santa Clauses, there's polar bears and. Walruses, no penguins. There's not a single penguin in that whole level. I don't think. But there's Christmas presents, and Christmas stuff, and Christmas trees. It's actually a giant freaking Christmas tree. And back in the day, that was perfectly perfectly acceptable. Like nowadays, the only way you can sneak a Christmas tree into a game is if it's like a religious game or the characters are recognized as Christians. This game, it wasn't like that. This game, it was just like, ah, oh, there ain't gonna be no Jew play in this game. Don't need to put no uh, Hanukkah, whatever jig thingies. I don't know what they're called. Those candle things. I, I, I'm really bad with other religious holidays, and I'm not like being like like full of myself. I what they call that. Uh, what do they call? What's the word I'm looking for here? I'm not being like uh, whatever. A uh, you know, I'm, you know what I'm looking for, a racist or whatever kind of thing. It's like racist, but it's for religions. Religionist, I must use that as the word. If it's not a word, I made it a word. Also, here's gold feather. One of the easiest gold feathers in the game, so I always grab that when I come here. This level is also the first level I die in, usually. Like, this is the point where it's possible to die. The rest of the levels is pretty easy. You ain't gonna die trying. Unless you really fucking suck at this game. 
Which I did back my first time LPing this, but I've gotten really good at it. This level I don't even die anymore. It's not until about, uh, even Gobi's Valley, which is like, the fourth to last level of the game. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a point. This is my first recording session, and I'm already halfway through the game. This game is very short. Like, it's short, but that's only if you know where everything is. If you know where everything is, you can get this game done within a day. If you don't know where everything is, this game will take up to, like, years, like, two years to beat. Like, my first time playing, it took me two years to beat it. I'm also full and extra lives, so I'm not gonna go on it anymore. That was like a ninja right there. That may have been how Sword of Slink did it. I didn't watch the whole thing, obviously, because it was two hours long. And it was two hour, two and a half hours long. And he just played the entire game using a bunch of, like, ninja... Banjo-Kazooie parkour, or whatever you call it. I actually don't know where all the mumble tokens are here. I forgot to look it up, because I just wanted to keep playing. I'm enjoying myself. I really am. This is a great LP. Now, I am going to do this the hard way. Maybe not. No, actually I'm not. I'm just gonna run up there. You bitch. Yeah, basically doing this is Kazooie, you can get all the notes and slow down a little bit. You just still walk at banjo speed to slow down. And right here is about where I stop. That's not really a hard one to get. Everyone says it's a hard jiggy. You just gotta really suck at this game and miss it. Like, I, I can see where you might like fall off the edge your first time, but it's not really that hard. The time limit's pretty generous. Cause you know you suck at this game! eggs. This level, this is when the game starts really picking advantage of the eggs. And like a lot of things require you to shoot at them. It's like the switches in Donkey Kong 64 which like, are everywhere. I really want to fucking LP that game. Like I don't want to do it right away though. It's a really hard game. I need to practice run through it before I start playing it. Oh, the Flibbits. Alright, like the Harry Trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. I'm sorry, I can't do a Kermit the Frog voice. If I had a Kermit, if I had, actually, I was going to do a Kermit the Frog voice. If I would have had them with me. That would have been perfect. Ouch! You just spawn on top of me, it's cheating! Can't do that. Ugh, you feel tough for us, Flippin' to take our gold! See, I can't do a Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. I can't, I can't do it. I can do, I can do Mrs. Piggy. Is that good? Is that good enough for you? No, I can't actually. Like, I know a while back I did a video and I removed it like a day after release of like me attempting to do a fucking Fluttershy voice. I can't even fucking do that. That's like the most simple thing in the world. He just makes like little squeaks. And I can't fucking do that. There's only one like perfect impression I can actually do and that is the fucking count. And I, I, I actually, I'm like the only person I've ever, I, I don't know anyone else who can do it. So it must be like a really hard one to do, but it's the only one I can do as far as I'm aware. Nothing up here important. Actually, I'm just saying, there's a Jinjo right there. This game is so bouncy. Like, everything's just bouncy in this game. Ouch. It's a weird sound you make that. Yeah. Every character has that one weird sound they barely ever make, and you like never noticed it. Until like, just now. Oh, I hate this part. Please, please, the famous tip top square will now perform my latest work. Cayenne Blue. Cayenne. Is it 
Cyan, Cyan, I don't know how you pronounce it. Bit short, isn't it, shell boy? Well, see, copy what you just heard from lesson one. It's a fun, a fun voice. Okay, Cyan, Blue, Cyan. That was, that was really easy. It's a real easy one. I like that. Simple. Cyan. Blue. Purple! That was good. Is that a yellow turtle? Mm, not too bad. Try and listen to her. Red, purple, pink, blue, yellow. Red, purple, pink, blue, yellow. I know it's magenta, but whatever. I didn't want to say magenta, it's the wrong word. Red, purple. Also, it's a different order every time. Purple, pink, blue. Come on. Yellow. And you're only choosing from six colors, it's not like it's that hard. Ah, uh, splendid. You just need one more lesson. Purple. Blue. Yellow. Put it red. Yellow. Cayenne. Blue. Purple, blue, red, yellow, red, cayenne, blue. Purple. Blue. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Cayenne blue. Oh my god, I got it right? Wow! Magnificent! A true masterpiece! Here, take this trinket I found earlier. I'm really bad at tip-top voice. I don't know what kind of voice you'd use for a turtle. Hey man! Get some pizzas! Now? Sorry, there is nothing more I can teach you. 50 points from Gryffindor. That's my that's my Severus Snape impression. Did I say that's the Sever, Severus Snape? That's his name, yeah, Severus Snape. I get Snape and uh, Sirius Black confused. I want to call him like Sirius Snape. This is some serious Snape, yo. This is some serious Black. <laughs> it never gets old. Like fucking like Sirius Black. You're just like, oh, it's a fucking Sirius Black, yo. But uh, anyways. Like, Severus Snape, I always forget that. And I fucking read all the books and saw most of the movies, and still. I forget his name. All I know is Snape. That's how everyone is. All I know is Snape. I know not the Severus you speak of. It's like Dumbledore, like, like I've come to arrest one of your teachers. Oh, which one? Severus? Who? Severus? I never hired a man named Severus. Severus Snape? Oh, Snape! What the hell did I just do? Is it like a shock spring, then I just did like a flutter jump in the middle? It's like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck this, I don't want to do this anymore. You remember your brother? Oh, never mind. You remember when your brother. Never mind. Remember your brother who. Oh, I forgot. Remember your brother? Nah, I don't know. That is the fucking worst game ever, by the way. Like, I, I never, pl I never played it, but I've seen enough videos of that game to know it's an awful game. Like, I know an awful game when I see one. The interactive movies is something you shouldn't do nowadays, unless it's like done properly, like Mass Effect or Skyrim or Fallout, which are all really good examples of like interactive movies or at least interactive storylines where you get to choose how the storyline unfolds and what turns it takes and such. There's like billions and millions of endings. Actually, Mass Effect literally has like millions of endings. I always wondered how many endings he put in the game. Like they put in the game. He. One man made Mass Effect. <laughs> no, it was Blizzard that made Mass Effect, I'm correct. Or Bioware. Bioware did, that's it. I say Blizzard they didn't make Mass Effect. Blizzard's too busy with World of Warcraft. Oh. It's Blizzard, not Wizard. I don't fucking know my companies. I don't know. So. It's fucking good game, yo. Yeah. Yeah. This game is made by Sony of Cambodia. Look. Question to the Cambodians Do you have a Sony? Question to the Cambodians Is Cambodia even a real country?
Wow, these Jinjos are really easy to get. Also, this episode's almost o this episode is over. I'll see you guys in the next one.